Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to Chef Vic Cuisine. Today, we're making blueberry pancakes. Light, fluffy, and sweet, these blueberry pancakes pack a punch. And this is the perfect way to start your morning. So, let's get started. All right, let's get this recipe started. In a large size bowl, we wanna to mix together two cups of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of granulated white sugar, four teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. Mixing all these ingredients together until they're well combined, and this creates your dry mix. And while you're stirring those ingredients together, make sure you also stir in a like button too. Seriously, it'll really help boost this video's performance and YouTube's algorithm by allowing more people to see it. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button too and click the bell icon to be notified when my next video drops. And stay tuned until the end of this video for a sneak peek of the recipe coming next week. Now, in a separate medium-sized bowl, we wanna add in one and three-fourths cup of 2% milk, a quarter cup of unsalted butter melted and slightly cooled, two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, two teaspoons of lemon juice, and one large egg. Whisk all these ingredients together until they're all well combined, and this creates the wet mix for our recipe. Now let's pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and fold them gently together until little to no lumps are left. And once your batter looks like this, you wanna gently fold in the blueberries. Take your time in this process. You're not trying to break the blueberries. So your goal here is to not over mix or else you end up with blue pancakes instead of blueberry pancakes. And once your batter looks like this, we want to set it aside and allow it to rest for about 10 minutes. And while it's resting, we want to heat a frying pan or an electric griddle on medium low heat or 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 149 degrees Celsius and spray the cooking surface with a non-stick cooking spray or optionally coat it with butter. And once your griddle surface is hot, you want to pour a quarter cups worth of the batter onto the cooking surface and allow the underside of the pancake to cook until it's golden brown and bubbles begin to appear on the top of the pancake. And once you see those bubbles, that's a good sign that you're ready to flip the pancake with a spatula. And then you wanna cook the pancake until the bottom of it is golden as well. And at that stage, you wanna remove the pancake from the heat and place it onto a serving platter. And with the remaining batter, you're just going to repeat those steps, pouring the quarter cup of batter onto the pan or griddle and cooking first the underside until it's golden brown. And then once you see those bubbles on top or on the sides, you want to flip the pancake and finish cooking it until the bottom is golden as well. And just keep doing that until all your batter is used. And with this recipe, you can expect to yield about 10 pancakes. So this is perfect for a small family. Or if you want a meal prep breakfast, you can store these pancakes in the freezer. But at this point, they're ready to serve and enjoy. And I find they're best served hot with syrup and some additional blueberries for a topping. And just like that, you've made blueberry pancakes right at home. As you saw in the video, these are super easy to make. They cook up in no time, and I'm telling you, try them at home yourselves. You're gonna find out how delicious they are. And if you don't have fresh blueberries near you, you can always opt for using frozen blueberries as well. But if you're using frozen, you must allow them to thaw out before adding them into the batter. So this recipe is a great way to start your morning. This recipe and many more can be found in my cookbook, Chef Vic Cuisine Volume 3, Upgrading Your Inner Chef. And that's available on Amazon, and I'll be sure to leave a link to that in my description box. Also, feel free to click the link on this page for more information as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. And if you did, make sure to smash that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Victor and welcome to Chef Vic Cuisine. I like to share delicious recipes each and every week 
that you can make for you, your family, or your friends. So if you'd be interested in that, make sure to hit that subscribe button too. And sharing is caring, so if you like this recipe and think someone else will too, make sure to share this with all your family and friends. And stay tuned for next week where I try to make these incredibly delicious lobster tails. They are so good and I cannot wait to show you guys this next week. Well, thanks again for watching. I truly do appreciate it. You all are the best. Check out my recipes on my page now. YouTube says you'll like this video, so let's see if they're right. And I'll see you all next week on another episode of Chef Vic Cuisine. And until then, peace.